Hello YouTube, this is Miles Paradise in a Pot here today coming to you from Las Vegas. This is houseplant vlog number four, if you're counting. Anyhow, today we're going to have a light, quick video only because I seem to have done something to throw my knee out of whack. So I'm going to just go ahead and discuss this lovely plant sitting right next to me. So if you like planty kind of content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'd sure appreciate it. The more subscribers get, the more videos we can do, and the more fun we can have around here. If you'd like, comment in the comments below and tell me what you think your favorite plant is right now. I'd sure love to know about it. Anyhow, if you like this kind of content, let's go ahead and get into it. YouTube. Miles here just kind of dusting off this lovely lovely Epipremnin Pindatum and I'll put that name up on the screen and this one in particular is the skeleton key. Now I got this as a two leaf cutting which is these two little leaves right down here which I still have. They're still alive. They're still attached. Almost looks like Cebu Blue when you look at them down there. Um, I've been growing this up a moss pole since the moment I got it. And you can see, as it's grown, the leaves have just gotten bigger and bigger. And they keep giving indications that they want to fenestrate. And this one almost kind of has a little bit of fenestration. But this latest leaf is why we're here today. This leaf, I just love this leaf, and I hope it knows I love it. It is looking so beautiful on my skeleton key here today. I just don't know what to say about it other than it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got little inner fenestrations, tiny little holes down there. And I'll go ahead and zoom in and give you a close-up look of what I'm talking about here. Um, but this guy is a pothos. It is just like any other pothos you're growing in your home. It grows really easily, doesn't require a lot of light, a lot of care. Uh, it's okay if you let it dry out a little bit in between waterings. It's really happy with that. Uh, actually, this could probably use a drink. It's just a little dry. But if I dig down in there, yeah, there's a little moisture down in there. But we'll go ahead and give it a drink after we get done with this video. Or actually, I'll just do it right now. I've got some water right here. This water is dechlorinated, room temperature water. It's been sitting there since last night. Just give it a little drink. Now I don't really soak this one through because it does have a smaller root system in the size of the pot I have it in. It's in this cover pot uh, mainly to keep it standing upright because this total this uh, moss pole I have is a little top heavy. But if I pull it up here, you can see it's in a small white pot, and it's actually doing quite well. If I don't throw it to its side. But as you can see, it's a little top heavy with that pole in there. So I put it in this heavier terracotta just to kind of weigh it down and give it some uh, weight. Um, I'm going to give you some B-roll footage of this plant while I talk about it. It is uh, from the, the jungle and these kind of plants uh, definitely like to climb. All the epipremnins actually do like to climb. You can actually take a Marble Queen Pothos. If you grow it up a moss pole like this, you'll eventually start to get fenestrations in that pothos uh, because they all do fenestrate. They have that heterophyly, and I'll put that word up on the screen for you, which means the leaves change. Change on the plant, it means the same plant will have different kinds of leaves. And it's basically that it fenestrates. Um, I've only had this plant, I think I got this plant in August of this year. I'll have to double check. I'll put the date on the screen. I do keep a spreadsheet of when I get all these guys. Uh, but I find this a really easy care plant. So I uh, just wanted to kind of highlight it today in my vlog because it did finally fenestrate and give me that skeleton key. I'll give you a look at it. This, this plant, you know, I usually don't name my plants, but this plant reminds me and I don't know why I think of this when I think about this plant maybe it's because of because of the movie suddenly last summer and it's in that movie Catherine Hepburn goes on about her son Sebastian 
and he has this fabulous garden in in the movie and um when you when you're in the garden she goes through and explains how some of the plants have been around since the days of the dinosaurs life is a thief sebastian always said life steals everything i want to show you his garden foxhill uh, where are they i put them in the patio they sent them parcel post this time from pensacola that's why they were late another day and we'd have starved to death come on doctor uh, in your letter you said an urgent matter I must say, you're much handsomer than your photograph in the paper, without that awful paraphernalia you doctors wear. Your son's favorite color, white. Such extraordinary eyes. So like his. You must... I, I almost said you must meet my son, Sebastian. Force of habit. Is he the son who died? Yes, last July in Europe. He must have been very young to die. Oh, poets. Whatever age they may seem to others, die young. Unexpected. Like the dawn of creation. It was Sebastian's idea, part of his lifelong war against the herbaceous border. Not unlike a well groomed jungle, and frankly, a little terrifying. So was creation. So is creation. Listen to them, birds. What's in there? This way before our poor lady dies of hunger. The Latin names to the plants are printed on tags attached to them with the prints fading out. Those ones there are the oldest plants on earth. Survivors from the age of the giant fern forest. And here's my poor lady. You never get away. The lady exudes this marvelous perfume which attracts them. They plunge into a chalice and they never come out. She has a carnivorous plant that she calls a Venus flytrap, but it's not a Venus flytrap. It's kind of funny. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly re recommend the movie. It's a good movie. It's Elizabeth Taylor in her younger days, um, and and Catherine Hepburn. It is just it's a lot of fun. I'll I'll, I'll put some inserts in here where she talks about that garden because uh, it's actually really kind of funny. Anyhow, let me go ahead and give you some B-roll so you can look at this guy. Again, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Took twelve leaves from a two leaf cutting. So, ten leaves that I grew by leaf ten is when that fenestration really came through. I mean, leaf nine just before it, and I'll show you again. I'll come close up to you. You can see it. Leaf nine does have a bit of that fenestration. Leaf eight looks like a Cebu blue leaf. So it is really interesting. Anyhow, guys, again, we're short video today. So if you would, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'd sure appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you don't already because we do plenty content here three or four times a week now. And if you'd like, you're welcome to give me a tip. I would sure appreciate it. You can uh, Venmo me. My Venmo is at dogblueeye1370. And again, I'll put that on the screen. I'm still uh, out there looking for work, and uh, anything helps right now, so I sure appreciate it. And I will go ahead and say that this week, if my knee gets feeling better by tomorrow, I'm going to start going out to all the lows. I want to hit all the lows in Las Vegas. I want to do that challenge. I want to go to all the lows, and I want to compare the plants that they have from lows to lows to lows. Now, keep in mind, if I do this, I, I don't have a car, so I can't hit all the lows in one day. So I'm going to be on public transportation. So let's see if I can do maybe two or three a day, and I'll kind of vlog them through until we hit all the lows. And then at the end last video, what I'll do is I'll compile 
which lows I think in Las Vegas carry the best house plants and maybe uh, start keeping my eye on those particular lows just to see if there is any difference between store to store here in the city. All right, guys. Well, again, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you in a couple days. Bye.